Well, as you said, we're also following that breaking news, a body found in Richland County where investigators say it is connected to the bodies found in Ashland County. Our Megan Hickey is live for us on the ground now with the latest. Megan. Guys, we're learning that the suspect who was arrested this afternoon while he was being held told the Ashland County Sheriff's Department that he murdered another woman in June. He did it outside of this home. This was an abandoned home. It was burned in June, and at that time, he said that he murdered a woman, and the sheriff's... the. Investigators were on the scene today and they did find the remains of an unidentified female. You can see there's a police car on the scene right now. Beyond that car, there's a ravine. The body was found in those woods. It was not covered up, it was out in daylight. It is severely decomposed. Again, they believe it's been there since June. Now, the coroner's office, the BCI, the sheriff's office are processing the scene right now. They've actually asked Mercyhurst College to come in because that decomposition is so bad. They have a special unit that will deal with that. Now, this suspect, we do not know his name, any information besides that he is likely a homeless man, that he did not live here that he is currently in the Ashland County Jail and he has been arrested on those abduction charges. Obviously other charges pending. These are two separate homicide investigations, but they're all linked together. We'll give you more information as it comes coming up tonight at 11. Live in Richland County, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.